So, uh, this was a brand new bike and, uh, first ride, you can already see, yeah, it's, uh, it got a definitely a good test ride today. Not just the mud and dirt, but I took a fall, a hard fall, man. This right here, can't see it, but it's going to be painful tomorrow. That's going to be black and blue tomorrow, man. I, I felt hard just now. I busted my ass. Look at my shorts. My shirt, my elbows. Look at that shit. Sorry to be cussing so much, but... That shit hurt. I don't even know what happened. I think what it is, though, it's a multitude of things. One, I'm not used to this damn speed, man. And trying to trying to just go fast as hell on a trail and you're not used to this type of speed it can uh, it can definitely uh, take a turn for the worse so I don't know what happened when I fell all I know is I felt something hit the back tire and then the front tire kind of slid and then I just went down hard I mean I was going fast when I fell so I gotta get used to that speed, number one. But number two, I'm wondering if it's these tires, man. They're not that grippy. Or maybe it isn't. Maybe it's just me, but we'll see in the future. So I'm gonna do my uh, first review, first ride review in a second. YouTube, what's going on, everybody? Hey, today I am um, taking the Specialized Epic on my first trail run. Um, so I'm really excited today about that. I've been waiting for this. I've had this bike now for about 10 days and have been geeking over here trying to get it uh, on a trail or for a ride. But again, because of my work time, my work schedule, and because of the rain, I have not had an opportunity to do it. It rained all day yesterday. This morning it rained, but the sun finally came out. So I don't care how this trail is looking right now. It's it's The bike is going to hit it because... Uh, I can't put it off anymore. I'm ready to get this thing on the road, on the on the trail. And so I am back today at Shingle Creek. I've done another video um, about this particular trail. The thing about this trail that's pretty unique about it is it's, it's very small. It's not big at all. But it's got three kind of unique pieces to it. There's a straightaway, which is the main thing that I want to hit. Because I just want to try to get this to top speed to see how fast I can really go on this thing. And um, so, and it is a kind of bumpy terrain, but it's a straightaway. So I wanna, I wanna see how it performs on that. There's also like a quarter mile loop. It's almost like you're on an island, and that loop is kind of at a slant. So it's like you're going in one big, like circle, but the the elevation is kind of slanted, and so it's kind of weird. But it's a little technical, but not hard at all. And so I'll just take it on that just to see how it performs. And then there's another part to it that's more open. It has a few jumps and a few technical things, not much. Um, and I just wanna see how it does on, on that as well. So you get a little bit of everything on this trail. It's just not long at all. It's very, very short, but that's neither here or there because my main purpose is to just take this thing out on my first run, get a feel for it actually on a trail. I have rode it. Of course, I test rode it at the shop, but that was only on grass and only on pavement. Um, there is no bike trail uh, per se with you know dirt gravel rock stuff like that near the shop So I couldn't take it out on that But um, for those of you who are probably thinking well, why would you buy such an expensive bike? 
and not even test ride it on the trail. Well, it's a lot of bike shops where you're not gonna get that opportunity. Number two, I've done massive research and watched plenty of videos on the bike on the trail. So I feel like that was enough. And plus I got a good feel for it when I test rode it the first time. So other than that, man, I'm, I'm really excited about it. I'm not gonna talk too long in the beginning. I'm gonna give you my first ride thoughts after I'm done. And again, I wanna shout out Arn Cycle. Let me tell you one thing real quick what they did. So there's a couple of other reviews that are coming up. Um, a dropper post, and I'm gonna do some other um, accessory reviews coming up soon. And um, I've been going back and forth. Backcountry, which I still buy a lot of my parts from, um, and Worldwide Cycling. Um, I bought the bike yoke dropper post, and I got the 30.9 um, diameter with the 160 millimeter um, dropper post and so it didn't fit the frame the frame on this is a little bit different and so i have to drop it down to the 125 call back country they swapped it out real quick quick shipping but the new one that they sent me wasn't the the diameter wasn't right it wasn't the 30.9 it was the 31.6 so i had to send that one back and of course my luck um the dropper post that i need the 30.9 is on back order and won't be here until like the beginning of december so today I'm riding this bike completely stock. I have not changed anything on it. No pedals, no hand, no nothing. So it's completely stock. Next video you see me in it, um, I don't know. I, I, I might have the upgrades, I may not. But it's not much I'm gonna do to it. But I wanna shout out Orange Cycle again. Let me tell you about great customer service, man. So when I went in there the first time to get the dropper post um, installed, because I've never installed it, and I just wanted to see how they would do it, and then kind of learn as I go, and then um, we found out that it didn't fit. It was too It was too long. And so the guy that sold me the bike, he was there in the beginning, but then he left and I didn't see him again. So yesterday I checked the mail. I got a postcard from him, from Orange Cycle with his, his writing on it. And he's basically saying, hey, I heard you came in. I heard the dropper post didn't fit. Sorry, it didn't work out. But hey, if there's anything else we can do, let us know. Hope you're enjoying the bike. And I'm just like, who takes the time to actually write a postcard? And how did he even find out that it didn't fit? Because I had left the store by that point. So that's what I'm saying, man. It's just little things like that go a long way with me, man. That's that's just showing above and beyond customer service. So Orange Cycle, really appreciate you guys. Jimmy, man, I really appreciate it. Garrett, really appreciate it. Um, you guys are great. So anyway, I'll see you guys uh, after the ride. And um, yeah, I'll let you know my thoughts. Bike feels fast already, man. Mm, well, they built the new bridge. All right. So this right here is gonna lead me to the straightaway. see how this goes first real test let's get it yeah Ooh. Ooh, shit. Ooh.
Oh. Yeah. All right. Oh. So here we go. All right, you see the straightaway ahead. Straight up. We about to see how this thing can get it, man. All right, let's go. Oh, the mud is serious. Ah. Yeah. Mm.
did, I took my pants. <laughs> Excuse me. How's it going? Yeah. Bye bye. Right. This is the turnaround because uh, this shit always gets flooded when it rains, so and I'm sure there's gators in that shit. I ain't messing with it. Alright, I'll be back. Look at this. I don't know if y'all can see that right there. You see that baby gator? So he's just chilling, right? He ain't bothering nobody. I ain't bothering him. But the thing is, is there's a mama around. There's a father around, and those things out here can get huge. So, you gotta be careful out here, man. You could be out here riding, thinking everything's all good, and next thing you know, it could be right there by your feet. It's happened to me. So, it gets real out here.
this bike right here. <sighs> Yo. <laughs> uh, I don't even know where to start, man. I know one thing. I'm not used to that type of speed. And I'm going to have to get used to it because turns and corners and drops come up so quick. It's like I have a millisecond to decide what to do. Now I can say I certainly see the difference between an entry level bike and when you start getting to the couple of thousands for a full suspension, something like this, man. Completely night and day ride. Shifting is the smoothest I've had on any bike. Butter isn't even the word. I mean, this thing shifts smooth. But the way that it can accelerate so fast, I don't understand how this bike is that quick. And it's so light, I can manhandle it. I can just pick it up and move it where I want it to go. It will take a while to get used to driving, I mean, riding this. Because my bikes were so much heavier. The brakes weren't as good. And it just weren't as fast as this bike is, so... I don't know, man. If I'm going to have to... I don't know. I'm going to put this equipment back in the truck. I'm going to go take this for another ride. This this is just too much fun. Got to shout out my 4Runner, man. It's looking good from the side. For some reason, it's dirty and all of that. But eventually, I'm going to work on this bad boy, too. I'm going to get a lift, get some bigger tires once these wear out. So, um, First take... The bike is amazing. The bike is, is amazing. The bike is fast. That bike is really fast. And uh, this, there were a lot of times on there where I had no control. The speed that I was going, it was, it was kind of scary. And that's just a very intermediate course. I mean, sorry, I would say beginner slash intermediate. There are some thick roots. My legs are on fire right now. Oh my God, this is going to hurt tomorrow. Um, so here's the thing. The bike is awesome. I expected that. The bike is fast. I expected that. Um, I didn't realize how light it actually was until I actually was able to just literally manhandle that bike and pick it up and direct it wherever I wanted it to go. It can go over stumps. It can go over everything. Now, I'm not a big fan of riding stock tires I, I just think that most stock tires just you know aren't the way to go it's so funny how every single time I fell off a bike it's been on stock tires I've never fallen off once I upgraded the tires and I'm talking about on the same trails I don't know about those tires I got to do some more research on them um, I, there was some loose sand out there it had rained earlier and kind of dried up, so some of it was a little loose. Um, I was going super high speed. I felt something hit the back tire. Maybe my back tire hit a stump, but that shouldn't have made me fail. But I think the front tire kind of started sliding, and I could feel it going down. And it's so funny how it happened so quick, but I had a quick millisecond to think in my mind. Two things I thought. Well, maybe... <laughs> It might not be too bad because of the way that I was falling. I thought that I was just going to like come to a complete stop, but I just slid for a while on the gravel and yeah, it hurt. And then right before I hit the ground, I was thinking this is going to hurt. And sure enough, the pain is, uh, is, is really, it's really burning my legs right now. This is going to be black and blue. This is going to be some skin is already starting to come off. I knew I should have wore those pads today. On that bike from now on, I'm going to have to wear the proper gear. I really didn't expect it to ride that hard. I I, I, uh, I just got happy-go-lucky and I, I got carried away, to be honest. I was supposed to just do the straightaway and then ride it a little bit around the trail just to see how it is. And then I just got excited, put all the equipment back in the truck, took it back out there and gunged it. And gunned it and uh and yeah that's the price i had to pay for it you just got to respect the bike you got to respect the speed and um i got to take my time and really learn that bike but 
still, even though this is gonna, this is gonna hurt tomorrow, uh, it was worth it. It was fun. Today was fun. I'm not gonna lie. I've been out there for a couple of hours, and I don't normally ever stay out there that long. One, the weather is great, 73 degrees, but two, it's just a fun bike to ride on, man. <laughs> it's just a fun bike to ride. Wow, I see the difference now. Definitely see the difference. So, um, that's it for my first ride. I guess I can actually say my first performance review as well. I hope I didn't do any damage to that bike. I didn't hear anything changing. I didn't hear any weird noises. It still shifts good. I didn't see anything hanging off or looked like it was cracked or broke. So, I guess I did all right. But in 30 days, I got to take it take it in to the shop to get it just a tune up and just to check everything out the suspension on it um i could feel it kicking in uh the brain technology i still don't understand i mean i know how it works but i don't know when the full suspension should truly like kick in um there were some spots where i was like okay i should feel it a lot softer now but it's so fast that i don't know how quick it reacts to that if it's instant I could tell it on some parts but not on the others but then again I don't even know if I was really even paying attention to it because I was just having so much fun going so fast on the bike so I really don't know it's hard to really tell I could tell that the suspension kicked in in some parts though but there were other parts where I was I was waiting for it to feel a lot more squishier but it didn't and so but maybe I don't know if I was just I don't know I don't know man I, I gotta just get used to it and, and figure it out because honestly my mind was just on trying to control it go as fast as I can and just have fun and that's what I was doing out there so it's a lot I guess all the technical stuff I'll have to learn as I as I get go further down the line but I know this is a long video didn't mean to make it that long but today was a good ride it's a fun day so um, appreciate all the support everybody and you know this has been going on a year now. I've been doing this this channel. And um, I remember the first video I posted, like within two to three days, I had like 50 to 60 followers. And now I'm like at 220 or close to 220, I think. And it's like, it's slowed down tremendously. And I'm gonna tell you guys, it takes a lot of work to edit these videos, to make these videos. And I'm out here usually by myself. I don't have a camera person. Um, so it takes a lot of work. All I ask you guys to do, man, is like the video if you like it. Watch it if you if you if you want to try to learn and, and and just see me through my trials and tribulations as I'm new to this sport. But also tell a friend, man. Like subscribe. You know what I mean? Like they're, they're, I, now that I see on the back end of how YouTube works and how much work goes into editing and making videos. All of the people that I would just watch their videos but never subscribe, I went back into and subscribed to their videos. Because now I have a whole new outlook on it. And, it, and I know it's time consuming. And so, like, to edit this video with all of the shots, it's going to take about a couple of hours probably. You know what I mean? And to make the videos a couple of hours, I mean, it's almost like a full-time day job just to make one or two videos, you know? Full day at work, so that's all that I ask man I don't ask for much but just please just subscribe to the channel like the channel I guarantee it's gonna be more content that you guys like if I'm staring off in the space it's just because I'm tired I've been riding for a long time and when I tell you I'm scared to even take a shower because I can see like the skin that's coming off water is gonna feel like alcohol this thing is gonna burn and oh boy it's gonna be a hard week this week Guys, be safe out there. I'll check you in the next video. Peace.